going on everybody welcome back to tpa Ave geek and today we're going to be doing a random model airport of cedar rapids eastern iowa international airport update for you guys i really hope you guys are excited for today's video if you guys are please consider liking the video subscribing to the channel and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to come with that this airport update is just a really small airport uh located uh east of iowa uh, nothing too interesting that goes on down here, mainly just regional stuff and low-cost carriers, of course. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's just begin over here pushing back. Out of Gate 5, we have the American Eagle Amber American Eagle E-175, operated by Envoy Air. This aircraft came in from Chicago Harris, American Airlines Flight 3661 at 11.40 a.m., delayed from 10.57 a.m. scheduled arrival, so about an hour and 17 minute delay. And this aircraft is going to be departing over to Chicago O'Hare as American Airlines Flight 3661 at 11.35 p.m. Uh, was the scheduled departure. But at this time, he's pushing back at 12.26 p.m. delayed from a 11.35 uh, a.m. scheduled departure. All right, then moving far down over here at gate uh, B7, we have the American Airlines Mitsubishi Bombardier Suji 900 operated by... Uh, PSA and Mesa. This aircraft came in operating as Mesa as American Airlines Flight 5862 from Dallas Fort Worth at 1216 p.m. ahead of a 1227 p.m. scheduled arrival. And he's going to be departing out to Charlotte operating as PSA uh, or American Airlines Flight 5177 at 406 p.m. Um, uh, to Charlotte. So very, very cool. All the way over there coming in from Chicago here is the American Eagle E145 operated by Envoy Air. This aircraft, like I said, is currently coming in from Chicago here as American Airlines Flight 3881 at 9.11 p.m. Uh, ahead of a 9.25 p.m. scheduled arrival as American Airlines Flight 3381. And he's going to be departing uh, out tomorrow morning. He's going to be overnighting here. Uh, out to Chicago here as American Airlines Flight 3905 at 6 a.m. I'm currently over here at Gate 9. We have the Allegiant Air, it was A319. This aircraft is currently getting uh, catering and passengers on board. This aircraft came in from Phoenix uh, Mesa at 8.16 p.m. Two minutes delay from an 8.14 p.m. scheduled arrival. That's Allegiant Air Flight 1177. And he's going to be departing out back out to... Uh, let's actually get another route here. He's going to be departing back out to St. Petersburg Clearwater as Allegiant Air Flight 1991 at 8 37 a.m currently back over there taxiing in just waiting for uh the allegiant to push back we have the frontier airlines it was a320 neo this aircraft came in from denver's frontier airlines flight 690 at 12 20 or at 12 13 p.m ahead of a 12 20 p.m scheduled arrival and he is going to be departing back out to denver's frontier airlines flight 693 at 105 p.m and right here coming in from denver we have the united airlines it was a319 Coming in from Denver as United Airlines Flight 483, landed at 11.08 p.m. ahead of an 11.25 p.m. scheduled arrival as United Airlines Flight 483 once again. And he's going to be departing back out to Denver tomorrow morning as United Airlines Flight 738 at 9.11 a.m. Currently over here pushing back with service out to Chicago here is the United Express E, uh, sorry, Sergio 200, or pardon me, yeah, yeah uh, Sergio 200. This aircraft came in from Denver as United Airlines Flight 4680 at uh, 4.28 p.m. ahead of a 4.44 p.m. scheduled arrival as United Airlines Flight 4680. And he is going to be departing back out to, uh, he's going to be departing out to Chicago here at this time as United Airlines Flight 4662 at 6.38 p.m. delayed for the 5.24 p.m. scheduled departure. And then right over here, moving on to gate, uh, don't remember what gate this is. I do apologize about that. Uh, we have the United Express Bombardier CRJ 550, I believe, or CRJ 700. Pardon me. This aircraft came in from Denver as United Airlines Flight 5363 at 2:15 p.m. Delayed from a 12:53 p.m. scheduled arrival as, as United Flight 5363, and he's going to be departing back out to Denver as SkyWest or United Flight 4744. At 1:40 at 3:05 p.m. delayed from a 1:44 p.m. scheduled departure. And then right over here at gate, uh, what gate? Is this? Gate three. We have the American or Delta Airlines Bombardier or Mitsubishi CRJ 900. This aircraft came in. Uh, he's operating as a CRJ 200. This aircraft. I've seen CRJ 900s on this route as well. But this aircraft came in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Minnesota as Delta Airlines Flight 4681 at 10:06 p.m. ahead of a 12. 
uh, 10 to 6 a.m. p.m. ahead of a 10 21 p.m. scheduled arrival as Endeavor Air or Delta Flight 4681. And he's going to be departing back out to Minneapolis as Endeavor Air Flight 4640 or Delta 4640 at 7 a.m. And lastly for today's airport update at the cargo area we have the fedex feeder atr 72 let me show you guys the new cargo area that is coming to one of my airports there you go just a little bit of a preview uh let's get a good view of that right there uh we have the fedex atr 72 that's 200 uh this aircraft came in earlier today from indianapolis indiana as uh mountain air or empire airlines flight 8348 uh, or FedEx flight 8348 uh, 9.55 a.m. ahead of a 10.05 a.m. scheduled arrival and he's going to be departing back out to Indianapolis I believe as uh, Mountain Air or pardon me as Empire flight 7558 or uh, FedEx flight 7558 at uh, 10.36 p.m. so very very cool so it comes in early morning leaves late at night that thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did please consider liking the video subscribing to the channel and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to come with that my name is tpa afk i'll see you guys in the next video as tpa afk is signing off